This is a Toblerone chocolate bar. And this is the Toblerone factory in Bernbrunnen, where the Toblerone bars are made. For the whole world. Because every Toblerone bar you enjoy anywhere in the world comes from this factory. The Toblerone bar was invented by Theodor Tobler and his cousin Emil Baumann here in Bern. They added crushed almond honey nugget to the chocolate mass. At the same time, they also chose a new shape for the chocolate, the triangle. We don't know why they chose the triangle. One story says that the shape was inspired by the Matterhorn, which is a very high mountain in the Alps and a symbol of Switzerland. By the way, the word Toblerone is put together from the name Tobler and the Italian word for nugget, Torone. Because we wanted to know how the Toblerone is made, and because you can't usually just look into the machines, we asked somebody and they made a Toblerone bar for us. And all without big machines, so we could watch. This is Anna, a trained chocolatier. That's the professional name for people who make chocolate. And Anna will now make a Toblerone bar for us. You only really need three ingredients for Toblerone chocolate. Cocoa beans, sugar and milk. But for the bit that makes Toblerone so unique, the nugget, you also need sugar, honey, egg white and almonds. First, the cocoa beans have to be roasted. Anna does this in a small pan. This turns the cocoa beans dark brown. Exactly the same thing happens here in the factory, but everything is much bigger. Then the beans are peeled, crushed, and then finely ground. And then everything looks almost like liquid chocolate. That's because of all the cocoa butter in the cocoa beans. It might look like chocolate, but it's not there yet. This is now pure cocoa mass and tastes rather bitter. Now Anna mixes the other ingredients with the cocoa mass. She adds the sugar and milk powder. The milk for the milk powder comes from 14,000 Swiss cows. They give all their milk solely for making Toblerone. By the way, the idea with the milk powder is over a hundred years old. The Swiss chocolate pioneer, Philippe Souchard, was one of the first to produce chocolate with milk powder. Milk powder blends better with the cocoa mass, as it has hardly any water content. A machine mixes the ingredients in our factory. This is where the ground, liquid cocoa mass is poured and then the other ingredients are added, sugar and milk powder. The chocolate is still very coarse. Therefore, we mill it longer, so that the ingredients are ground very fine and small. The long stirring time makes the chocolate soft and creamy. Anna has to stir for a long time now, so we'll take a look at the machine that stirs the Toblerone chocolate. This machine is called a conche. The process that produces the soft, creamy melt is called conching. Now let's see how Anna is getting on. No, she's not done yet. She's still stirring. Let's go back to the Toblerone factory. Toblerone chocolate is so popular that one concha isn't enough here. There are two, three, four, five, six, seven conchas running simultaneously. And Anna? She's finished stirring. But wait! Now the unique Toblerone ingredient has to be added, the nugget pieces. But Anna first has to make the nougat. That's a bit tricky. Anna takes the honey and boils it until it forms small bubbles. While the honey is heating, she mixes the icing sugar and a little water and boils that up as well. Finally, she mixes everything together and boils all of it up together once more. But the nugget isn't quite finished yet. Once the mixture has cooled a little, she whips the separated egg white into stiff peaks and adds the honey syrup to it. 
Now the almonds have to be added and mixed in. The mixture now has to cool before it can be chopped up into little bits. In the factory, it's exactly the same with the nugget, just much bigger. And at the end, it's poured into the chocolate in small pieces. Now, Anna can mix in the nugget pieces with the chocolate and pour it all into the Toblerone mold. Pour it in, give it a shake so that it flows into the mold evenly. Then let it cool until the chocolate is firm. Then turn the mold upside down. Shake it a bit and there's our homemade Toblerone chocolate bar. And how does it work in the factory? It's shaken here too, just like Anna did, but just a bit bigger. Now it's cooled, turned over, packaged and the yummy Toblerone chocolate bar is finished. Now let's try it. Yes, that's delicious. And Anna? She likes it too. <laughs>